Hello, welcome to my college dorm. Come on in. common area well most dorms do anyways i live in a single so that means i'm living with three other people and we all have our own single dorm but we have a shared common space so basically there's not much to see here but we have two couches they all come with the living area and then we have a cute little pot just for decoration to add some greenery to the room it's pretty cute i think it's from ikea um and then when it comes to this side we have this dining table also it came with the room um super nice uh and you know we have a few motivational quotes over here because sometimes the semester can get hard and it's just nice to you know like look back at them get through the semester get through the hard times you know it gets tough <laughs> all right so then on the window seal we have a few books um moving on to this side we have some board games we have a puzzle and also ludo and of course we have our little man his name is harry um just you know looking out for us and also this NY Young Daddy and Dingy, which I think we got in freshman year. I don't know how it's still here. But yeah, as you can see, it's been through a lot. <laughs> so, moving on, this is basically where we make breakfast, all of that stuff. We have a microwave, um, a few utensils here and there, kettle, hot plate, and I love this thing. It's an air fryer. I 100% recommend investing in one, especially if you're a college student. It just cooks anything that you want to cook and it also makes it a lot healthier than just like, you know, frying stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we just have a few utensils here and there. Also, we have a lot of cabinet space, like a lot of cabinet space. Everyone who lives in this dorm has their own storage. So they're pretty decent size, like, you know, can fit, can fit a few things in there. You've got three levels. Um, it's nice, you know, enough space to fit everything you need to fit inside. And of course we have some drawers, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything in this area. So let's go check out the bathroom. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. Um, pretty standard. I just have, you know, what you would find in a bathroom. I have the shower. You know, the shower, my shower's a bit messy, so you can see all of that. <laughs> we have the toilet, um, and then, you know, nice um, storage space as usual. Just keep my, you know, basic utilities in there. The mirror's pretty nice. Um, also, there's a bit of storage here, so, you know, you can put a few things in here as well. You know, I've got my baby wax and stuff, shampoo in here and stuff. And then, of course, you have a few hooks where you can hang like towels and all of that stuff so yeah that's pretty much it it's just a it's just a bathroom let's go check out the bedroom hey guys so welcome to the bedroom <laughs> in this area over here we have my desk and this is where all of the magic happens my magic I just need studying getting ready for the day so at the top we have this mirror which I got in my freshman year um, it's pretty good I got it from Ikea and honestly it's very durable it's lasted like for four years literally I can put my jewelry underneath it I can hang my jewelry on it so it's really nice in this area I have all of my camera equipment so I have like my vlogging camera, I also have like my lens stuff all, of, all in this um, case and then I also have my airpods and then I have this JBL speaker, it's very good, it's very loud, the bass is amazing and then I have a Rode microphone and this was my first ever camera, this is the Canon 750D, it's an amazing camera for the price, um, took a lot of my main photos with it in the beginning but now I have upgraded to the Sony. But yeah, I'll never forget this camera. It's still one of my favorite cameras. Love it. And yeah, um, here I have a lamp. So this lamp is really nice. It like, you know, can move up and down. 
wherever you want it. One thing about me is that I don't have a lot of rules, but the one thing that you cannot do in this room is turn on the indoor lights. I hate indoor lights and so I always have like you know other lights like a lamp or like you know I use natural light a lot or I have my LED lights that turn on at night. So yeah that's just one thing that <laughs> that I have in this room. And I have my beats over here. I didn't actually use them that much but you know I just in case I ever need to use them I just keep them over here. And then I have these disposable cameras which uh, I haven't even used, they're just here for decoration at this point, so yeah. Moving on here we have my makeup, so this is where I keep all of my makeup, so you know, you know my foundation, my concealer, and I have like you know earbuds, um, I keep my makeup brushes in here, and then of course my perfume because you have to smell nice, like that's a, that's a major key, like you need to smell good. Um, <laughs> moving on to the main part of the desk, we have my laptop and my planner and of course my calculators for when I used to be an economics kid, I had my calculators. <laughs> and um, over here at the windowsill we have my art stuff. So um, I like to draw and I tend to like just draw my desk too. So having like my art stuff on the windowsill makes things accessible and I can just like, you know, pick things up, start doing my work. And of course on this side I have my planners and most importantly my bible and my self-help books are also here. Right now I'm reading a book called The Source. It's a very interesting book. It's all about the mind, psychology, law of attraction. Pretty cool. Um, on this wall I have these postcards. So I basically got these postcards on Shein. They are really good quality. Like the photos are very nice quality. A bunch of photos of like different cities you have Paris you have like London you have Italy and New York all of these really cool um, attractions so yeah it's just a nice thing to have on this wall it was a bit empty before I put anything on there um, moving on is my main the big window in my dorm so I love natural light and one thing I really like about this window are the blinds so it has two blinds it has one that's a lot more it has one that's like, you know, a lot thicker, so no lights really come in, but if you don't want the room to be too dark, but you still want some privacy, you can always pull down this blind, which is a lot more share, it's a lot more see-through, so light still comes in, but you still have that privacy, and I have my little monkey just here chilling, my little man, so cute. <laughs> And um, over here I have my sketchbook. On this side is basically the most important part of the dorm. We have my bed. Um, and of course we have my teddy bear. I call him Biggie. He's so cute. Very comfortable. I think, I don't know when I got this bear, but I've had it for like two years now. Um, love it. I always sleep with it, <laughs> basically. And on the wall I have um, my tapestry. I got this on Shein. It's of New York, one of my favorite cities. Um, and I didn't mention my blanket, but I got my blanket from Ikea. Again, Ikea sponsored me at this point because I keep saying Ikea. So yeah, this blanket is really good, very comfortable, um, very big as well. And um, I've literally had it for like two years as well. So that's pretty much it um, on the bedside. So this is my rug. I've had this rug since my second year. I also got it from Ikea. I like how minimal it is but it just adds a lot of colour to my room and yeah, it's a very decent rug um, I would definitely recommend getting a rug to like fill space in your room just adds a lot more decoration and just makes it not feel so empty, I guess Okay, so on the wall we have a few things so I have like tickets, like tickets of a few countries I've been to or like a few flights I took so I just collected my tickets and just decided to put them on the wall. I have a few pictures of like people who are very important to me and then I also collect money from like around the world. So I have like the euro, I have like the rupee, I have the dollar, I have the city, pound, um, I forgot what this currency is called, uh, bat, bats, the Thailand bats or something like that. And then my friend gave me this 100 kwacha. <laughs> I think I'm saying that wrong, but this is from um, Zambia, so. And I have this bedside table storage thingy. Um, basically, on the top I have like my photography books. Um, so every time I want to like learn about photography or like, you know, 
get a bit of inspiration I'll either read this book or this one right here and I also have this Atlas Obscura book I don't actually read it it's just there for decoration I'm gonna be honest with you um, but yeah it just adds a bit of colour to the room and I use my iPad as a clock <laughs> But I also use it as a writing pad and also to read, that's why I have it right next to my bed um, because it's just easy to reach. And I have a few souvenirs over here. Um, I got this elephant statue thing from Thailand and I have this shell that somebody gave me when I was in Ghana. Um, I have this pot thing where I like to store a bunch of random things. Um, I have this fake plant that I got from Ikea. Ikea, sponsor me. <laughs> and then I also have this vision board. Um, I haven't touched it since like my second year. But yeah, it has a few things on there. It's very empty. I'll probably have to do this again. But that's what is on here for now. And moving on to the wall. This is my art wall. I like to draw. So I have a few pictures. This is LeBron James. I literally finished this the other day. Um, it took me a very long time. But yeah, these pictures I did like a few like last year. So yeah, I like to just put them in frames. These frames are also from IKEA. They're really affordable. They don't have any glass, but you know, it just to add some you know dimension to the picture. And then I have this um, these two paintings, which are actually Bob Ross tutorials. So I literally followed the tutorial by Bob Ross, and I made these paintings. And of course, on this side, you can see we have a thermostat. So to regulate temperature, you could literally increase or decrease the temperature or completely just turn it off, um, which is a really nice thing about this, um, about the dorms here in Royal Daddy. Um, everyone can control the temperature of their bedroom because it can get really hot in the summer. But yeah, as cool as this room is in the day, I feel like it doesn't really compare to it at night. Okay guys, one thing I didn't show you is the wardrobe space, so everyone gets their own wardrobe here. Um, I pretty much got, again, this storage from Ikea <laughs> and I basically keep all of my clothes here. Honestly, right now it's a bit messy and I also got this shoe rack thing which has been so helpful, honestly. It basically has all of my shoes, um, pretty much can fit like, I think like, 15 pairs of shoes in here, so it's really, really good. And of course, I also have my, oh, <laughs> nearly fell. I have um, more shoes at the bottom. Don't ask me why I have so many Air Forces. I feel like Air Forces serve different purposes. So I have like one for the gym, I have one for every day, and one for going out. But I don't get them at the same time. Obviously, when an Air Force pair gets old, you just use it for something else, but you always want your Air Forces to look fresh. <laughs> okay guys, um, that's the end of my NYU dorm tour, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are applying to NYU Abu Dhabi, this is how a typical upperclassman single dorm would look like. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe um, and also don't forget to leave a like. Remember to comment, I love seeing comments. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.